Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true nerd, and welcome to the Red Stare, which it doesn't say there. This game doesn't have a doesn't have a title screen, to be honest. So I'm just like pretend it says the Red Stare. Right, hang on, no, no, no. In okay, in editing, I'm gonna add this in. And welcome to the Red Stare. That's the actual logo, by the way. I just didn't press them. Though actually, I'm not sure whether the logo is actually like I, mean, I, I did that hand motion, assuming it was gonna be three things. It might not be. If it's like. If it's like arranged, okay, we'll do that again just in case it kind of it's differently. The red stair, just in case it's stacked, it's stacked vertically. I'm not sure. So anyway, we're back in VR. You probably guessed because I've got hands. It means I can dance, dance in VR. Yeah, it doesn't quite get the the hip movement. So there's, there's hip movements going on, but it doesn't really catch that because I don't have a sensor attached to my you know groin. Uh, but basically, we're back in VR. And this game is basically a solution to the question of how do we do VR when in VR the biggest problem is moving around. Moving around in VR is arse. So what are we going to do? And the answer is, from most clever people, is okay, we just don't move around. We simply come up with games where you live within a small area and like you interact with like interesting complex things around you while staying broadly still or using teleportation. But basically like Job Simulator, which is many people's like favourite VR games, it's very polished and well put together and very funny and very charming. Basically, you're just standing in like, you know, a meter by a meter and just interacting with the world around you. And this basically is the same thing. In the Red Stair, I am a federal agent. There was a badge there, but I dropped and now I think it's like stuck inside an asset or something, so I don't have that anymore. I'm a federal agent and I am staring at reds. So the red stare, you see. I'm basically going to be trying to, like, spy on communists. We're, like, in, you know, 1950s McCarthyism in America. And I'm just going to be in this little apartment, staring out of a window, or something, I assume out of, like, this window, perhaps. And we'll be staring out of the window with this camera. And with that, we'll be trying to, like, keep an eye on those bloody, bloody commies that are probably under the bed, as I've heard as an expression. I'm not sure whether we were meant to take that literally. Probably not, to be perfectly honest. So, let's get on with that, shall we? So let's just pick a mission. This mission is, it's red and it's got some numbers. So hang on, how do I use the fax machine? Do I just kind of shove that in there? Can I just shove the, shove the message in the, no, in there, sorry. Right, and then push the, push the red button. Okay, I think I've faxed. So the shutters go up, the phone starts ringing and there's people in the apartment's opposite. Conveniently, all nice and color coded for me. Woman in blue, woman in white, woman in red, woman in green, guy in black over there. I'm going to guess one of these bastards is going to be a filthy, filthy communist. Those bastards. So, let's answer the phone and figure out what we can here. Good morning, Agent. Hope you've settled in all right. Sorry about the mess, but your predecessor left in a bit of a hurry, and we couldn't leave this post unmanned. Now then, you're being thrown right into the middle of an operation. Take a good look outside, specifically the building across the street. See the woman on the top floor? Her name's Norma. Norma's got a briefcase she'll be handing over to us, so you're gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna fax over the details on the situation. The fax machine should be on your desk. Press the left button to receive incoming messages. I'll be in touch. Okay, you're gonna send me a fax. Put that back there, fax machine back here. Hello? Right. Message comes in. Number zero, the briefcase. Suspect, well she's not a suspect, she's handing over something to you, isn't she? Known communist, ooh. Okay, possibly, possibly she is a baddie because she's a known communist. Willing to give us intel or to receive... Ah, she's a defector. Got it. Right, so, just toss that... That was a secret message I shouldn't have just tossed out into the street. I've just, I've just kind of broken the... Wait, hang on. Um, with your predecessor gone, it's your job to monitor Norma dropping off the... What happened to my predecessor? Excuse me. Steve, what happened to the it's predecessor? Me. You've got the facts, right? Make sure you keep that stuff organised. You can pin the papers to the blackboard if you want. Now, the gist of it is, Norma spills the beans and the commies in the building. We give her immunity in return. Or at least, we'll think about it. Norma hasn't been a very good patriot lately. What you'll be doing is creating a record of Norma dropping off the briefcase we want, just in case something goes wrong. Give it a test. Norma should be in the parking lot with the briefcase right about now. So take a picture of her. The camera should be on the desk next to the fax machine. To use it, press the red button or the button near your thumb. Once you've got a good picture, send it over using the right button on the fax. Okay, so now I need to basically take a photo of her. So she is downstairs right now. So get a good photo of her and then, beautiful. 
I've now got photographic evidence of Norma with the briefcase in the parking lot. And now I need to fax that to these guys. So, in it goes to the fax machine. In it goes. Lovely. So that's now been faxed. Beautiful. Now, probably, as you suggested, hang on, you just stay there. Um, I probably want to now communist informants sympathizers. Yeah, so apparently I can just stick this to here. So you're an informant, so you're Norma. And apparently I was supposed to be keeping the faxes and... Which one was... I've lost Norma! Hello. Steve, I've lost Norma! Looks like you've got the hang of it. So here's the plan. Norma's gonna dead drop the briefcase in the parking lot. We'll be picking it up ten minutes later so we don't raise any suspicion. You'll be monitoring proceedings. Keep your eyes locked tight on that briefcase. If anything out of the ordinary happens, I want you and your camera to be all over it. Okay, so, she's gonna drop off the thing, right? She's gonna drop off the thing. Oops, sorry, I took a photo of nothing. Uh, she's gonna drop off the thing. There's the briefcase, so we need to... I'm trying to keep an eye on it. It would be easier if you didn't flipping keep it's calling me. me. I've got another agent nearby. According to them, someone's heading into the parking lot and they're not with us. Keep an eye out. Make sure they're not getting near that briefcase. Well, they might just own a flipping car. This oh, um, excuse, excuse me. That thing just happened. A thing just, a, a bad thing just happened. By the way, I've dropped the camera. Yeah, Norma's dead. By the way, Norma's really dead. Also, the briefcase has gone missing, and I missed that. Right, I'm very bad at my job. What the hell just happened? Wait, take pictures and fax me everything. Damn it. Okay, uh, y yes sir! Oh, I'm so bad at, like, communism. Oh, no, 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 okay, that, that one needs to go away. So, that's where the briefcase was before I ruined everything, right? So that's one. Um, and that's, that's Norma, who's dead. Yep, yeah, fine, so... Basically, and I didn't actually see who took the, who took the brief. Oh, I'm gonna be so bloody fired. Right, send that. And send that. There we go. No briefcase, no Norma. I'm really sorry. They're going to be so annoyed at me. Oh. Well, this is when I suddenly get disappeared by the FBI. Good job getting a clear picture of the crime scene. Damn. It doesn't look like we'll be getting any more information out of Norma. Anyway, we'll go over the picture and see what we can figure out. Right. I think we got what we need. Damn. What a disaster. Well, welcome to the team at any rate. Kick back for now. I'll let you know when we've got your next assignment. Nice! I didn't even get fired. Beautiful. I can't just toss the phone out of the apartment. Oh, it goes a bit nuts. And I'm done. We're getting that back. Ooh, what? It just came back. Hello! It's me. I'm gonna have to ask you not to hang up while I'm talking. Oh, sorry! Anyway, hello again, Agent. After a fiasco from the other day, I've got some good news. One of our agents has successfully infiltrated a building and is posing as a communist. Of course, you need to know who it is too. Take a look at the case file on your desk. Your predecessor put it together with all the info she gathered on the building's inhabitants, but recent events have made it a little... outdated. Compare the notes to the people you can see now, figure out who doesn't belong, and you've got our undercover agent. Consider this a bit of a test for you. Once you've figured out who it is, snap a picture of them and send it over to me. I'll send you the assignment by fax as well. Good luck. Right, just gotta figure out who this is. Also, we really shouldn't have this light on. Like, can we, can we turn the light off? Because I feel like they're gonna see me with my camera because I'm really brightly, like, lit up and stuff. So, I feel like it's gonna be... Oh, people moving around. Ah, so people are just moving from apartment to apartment. Like, up there, there's people moving around there. Hello! You can really clearly see me and my camera, but whatever. So, bit of information we've just been faxed there. Infiltration 1, our agent will be wearing red clothing. So, agent, spy, patriot. Right, you're, you're uh, up here in the spy bit of the blackboard. Agent will be wearing red clothing, and we'll stick that. So, someone who's wearing red is there. Okay. And on the flipping blackboard to my right, I've actually got a nice little thing here. Nice little kind of layout of the building, so I know which apartment's which, which will be useful. Fine. So, basic information on suspects organised by the apartment they inhabit. Apartment 1. Felicia and Elise both mostly wear green, which is bloody convenient. So, we got two green women 
over there in apartment one. Fine, that checks out so far, but of course they do just move. I think they've seen me, they're coming to say hello. Right, okay, so that checks out. But if there's anyone other than two green women in apartment one, we might have a problem, okay? Apartment two is shared by Bernard and Curtis. Bernard in red and Curtis wearing a denim jacket. So, I see presumably that's Curtis in red. I don't see denim jacket man, but of course everyone can just move around as much as they want. Oh, this would have been easier at night, at night presumably everyone just like in their apartment. They no one seems to sleep, which is bloody convenient. So I need to find denim jacket man. Anyone other than those two in that apartment starts becoming suspicious. Apartment three, Darwin and Ike. Darwin in a blue suit, and Ike likes to wear red-brown jackets. Obviously, everyone's just bloody hanging out down there at the minute, which is not good. Well, hang on. I know something about the spy. The spy dresses in red. So, basically, I need to just rule out the people in red. So, Darwin is blue suit. I can't see anyone out in that apartment right now. So, ignore that. But, red-brown jacket as well. So, a gentleman in a red-brown jacket who's not Curtis down there. Okay, move on. Arnold and Norma in apartment four, both usually wearing working clothes. Yeah, I think I saw a guy in working clothes up there. That's absolutely fine. Now, apartment five, I'm expecting, yeah, Grace likes to wear red. Fine. So, that's Grace in red and Larry in grey shirts. They tend to be loud. Now, if there's no woman in red, then that's my agent right there. So, Haley and Jeanette like and often wear blue. Jeanette is mainly clothed in darker blue. There's our woman right there. Right, so, we can now reasonably intuit, because we've ruled out everyone else, that you, my good woman, highlight you in... You in the centre? That is Carla. Yep, Carla's new. That's a name we haven't heard before. So we just pop that down, and I'm willing to bet that Carla, therefore, is our spy. So if we fax that to this guy, then he should be... That's just a spot where there is no longer... That doesn't exist anymore, that's fine. Right, send that through. That should be our agent. So, hopefully that's right. Hopefully so, because they're now calling me. So, spy up there. Car In my bright lit apartment, everyone can just blatantly... No, put it there. Our agent will be wearing... Ah, wait. Agent will be wearing red. I'm going to pop that right on top of it. Lovely. So that's now Carla, our spy. Well, who's not technically... Oh, no, wait, hang on. No, she's... She's a patriot, sorry. Sorry, she's she's one of ours. So she goes down here in patriots. Right, hello, I think I got the right person. Nice job. Looks like you found our inside woman, Carla. She's already given us a lot of intel in a short amount of time she's been in there. This evening, Carla will be meeting with a couple of reds. I'll give you the details later. Oh, before I go, make sure you keep a record of every clue you collect on each of our suspects. We define them as good patriots, calmly sympathizers, informants, and of course the spy. If you do the same, it should give you a good overview of the case. Take a rest for now. If you feel like time's going by a little too slowly, take a good close look at the clock. It's a good way to kill time. Okay, right, look at clock, time accelerates, but can we figure out anything about these people? Can I zoom in by the way? I'm not sure if I actually got to zoom. Sorry, my mistake. Do we got a zoom function? Oh, I do! I do have a zoom function on my camera. That's nice. So I can figure out what people are doing by looking at them through the camera. So if I'm struggling to see what's going on in, say, apartment three and four in particular, I can zoom in with my camera to keep an eye on people. Lovely. So that's good. So just backwards and forwards. And anytime I want to take a photo, but that's... You also got to be careful to grab at the bottom of the photo, otherwise you pick up the camera. Right, that just goes out. It's not particularly relevant. So we know you, we know you, and we know everyone's name. I've kind of forgotten everyone's name, but... It's fine. I'll just kind of refer to you by colours and apartments. So, yeah. The two blue women there. You and the guy in the grey suit. The women in green. The guy in the... I was just introducing everyone, thank you. Will you stop calling me for two minutes? Hello, agent. Remember that meeting Carla's organising? It's happening in the alleyway next to the building. Apparently, it's a popular spot for the Reds. They meet there frequently and make sure to keep anyone who isn't involved out of there. Keep a close look. I'll send over the relevant intel Carla's been able to collect by fax. You keep your eyes glued to that alley and get me pictures of all the people Carla's meeting with. Right, so, informants, sympathizers, so, presumably there's, there's only one spy, I think. Okay, now, zoom in, time to get, that's gonna be, right, so, 
One, that's Carla herself. Fine, don't worry about that. So that's, is that Grace? The other one in red, yeah, Grace. Oh, I'm learning who people are already. Right, next up, that's, is that Larry? Hang on, Larry, no, Curtis, sorry. Curtis over in flat uh, two, I think. And that's Elise from flat one, okay? That's absolutely fine. So, I've now got photos of everyone. So these are now communist informants over here. Not Grace, though. Grace is, Grace is ours, so we'll just toss that out the window. So, Elise, Carla, and, no, it was, it was Grace. Carla was ours, sorry. Carla, Carla can just go out to the, hang on, I need the, I need the other woman in red. Hang on, is that, that's Grace. Yep, yeah, Grace, fine, lovely. So, we've now got you two in there. So put them on the blackboard, lovely. Elise, Curtis, and Grace, all communist sympathizers. Also, Norm is dead, so we can probably just like get rid of her stuff at this point. She's not gonna be relevant anymore, fine. So, we've got the information there, and now with the lights on, we can see what's going on a bit more clearly. And everyone else up there, not, well, at least not meeting in the alleyway. And everyone who's in there's definitely been captured, right? Yeah, I've also got a little bit of like night vision. I'm like, I really should have this light off. They can clearly see me aiming a camera at them, but whatever. Yeah, that's everyone. That's everyone. Now, he said he was going to fax me some details. So, let's see what we've got here. So, photograph three people meeting with Carla. Fax the individual pictures. Okay, the alleyway is a known communist spot. No good patriot will be seen there. A known communist alleyway. Just arrest everyone in the bloody alleyway. Fine, okay. Let's, let's fax these pictures over in that case, and then once they've been faxed, grab them again and put them back up on the wall. So I want to keep like something I can remember telling me like who's, who's who. Look, I'm working on it. Just stop calling me. I'm literally sending you the bloody pictures now, okay? Fine. So those three, all informants, possibly spy. Let's just move them down to the right like level. There we go, nice. Beautiful, so, hello. Great job, agent. You've captured all those red mugs nicely. I'll check in with the higher-ups to see how they want us to proceed. For now, it's a job well done. So kick back. Talk to you soon. Put that down. Keep an eye on some folks. So, ah, so yeah, we know the woman in red, who's the agent, is in number five. There's also the woman in green is in number one. And the other person is... The person was, was that the guy in grey? Oh, is that the guy on the top floor is in his work clothes? Or, I can't remember where the other guy was. Hang on, if I use my camera, I'll be able to check that. I can, I can look, sorry, I took a photo. Uh, so that's, guy in, who are you? Hang on, who's that there? Well, tell me who that is. That's Ike, no, he's in, he's in red. That's, it might be him actually. No, it wasn't, it wasn't Ike, it was, it was, oh, it was the guy in the dead, the guy in the dead and jacket. The guy in the dead and jacket is, I believe, the other guy who lives in number two, if I recall correctly. They can totally see me right now, but it's neither of you guys, because you guys are in suits. So I think it's the guy in number two. So it's, I think it's apartments one, two, and five that have communist spies in them. Is it you? You're the guy? Just check that. No, that's Arnold. He's the guy in the overall, so it's not him. So, no, he's, he was the work overalls, wasn't he? He was the guy in apartment four. So, I think I'm just looking for the guy in apartment two, if I recall correctly. It's, hang on, just take a photo of you. Yeah, Curtis, fine. So, it is indeed the guy, it's okay, it is indeed one, two, and five, fine. So, I now know, so I keep taking photos, I now know who the guys are and where they live, one, two, and five. Spot on. Right, so in which case, let's stare at the clock, because apparently that makes time go past. There it goes, okay, fine. So it, it sped up until such time as it was time for the next mission. Hello! Listen up, we don't have much time for this one. Carla has been bluffing her way into the communist organization until now, but she's overplayed her hand. We need to identify one of the communist informants and let Carla know who it is, or her cover will be blown. She's gathered a lot of information on one of the informants. Long story short, keep a close eye on the roof and the alley. And, actually, just take a look at what we faxed over. Get a picture of the informant and fax it to us once you're sure about it. We only have one shot at this, so keep your eyes peeled. Hang on, are these, oh, these are sympathizers, not informants, got it. Okay, fine, I'm gonna reposition those, because it can't be these guys, because we literally already sent them. So these are communist sympathizers, but not informants. Right, so. Send me some information. What do you need me to do? Use the information provided, find one of the informants, make sure Carla knows who it is. I guess I did that by faxing you. Informant meets with all their sympathizers, either on the roof or in the alley. Watch those spots. See who meets with everyone. 
and make sure you get a picture of the informant to Carla or her disguise and potentially her life will be lost. Right, so at the course of today, I need to figure out who's in the alley, who's on the roof, and who's meeting those three individuals, Elise, Curtis, and Grace. So, what I need to do is, uh, that down there is, that presumably is, let's just double check that, so I think it is, yeah, that's Elise, fine, and no, 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 stop it. Right, so, two people meeting in the alley, no one up on the roof right now, okay? And that is, that's still, that's Curtis, right? Yeah, that's just Curtis, that's fine, we know about him already, ah, but, hello, who are you, my good man? Darwin, Darwin appears to be down close by to the area, photo, toss that aside, but not meeting, woman in green, also, just hanging out there, but, oh, oh, hang on. No, okay, not actually meeting each other. You two have gone your separate ways, back to your apartment. No one up on the roof, no one in the alley, okay. Hello. Who are you? You're not one of my three. Jeanette. Okay, make a record of that. And are you by any chance meeting with Elise? Okay, I think we need to keep a close eye on Jeanette all of a sudden. Because Jeanette up there does seem rather to be hanging out with Elise, who is one of our known sympathisers. Right, watch out for her. And she's wearing the... Oh, but... Hello. Someone's in the alley. Larry is in the alley. The alley where we're told only communists would be hanging out together. Right, and he's presumably meeting with... Is that Kurt? Yep, that is indeed Curtis confirmed. Right, toss that out there. Now, what we need to do at this point then is two suspects, Larry and Jeanette. So Larry has met, uh, yeah, hang on, should, this is probably the easiest way to do this. I'm just going to actually use this. So Larry has met, hang on, hang on, I need one or the other of you. Larry has met, darn it, didn't get it. Okay, Larry met Curtis and then went into that like back room or whatever. Um, and Jeanette has met Elise. So that's, that's fine. Okay. Now I need to just keep an eye on, hang on, you're not, you're not Jeanette, are you? Hang on, that's, no, that's Hayley. She just lives with Jeanette. That's fine. Hang on, that is, that, that's Grace. Elise and Grace, both currently, yep, two of our three candidates down in the alleyway. Now, if they were now to meet with Larry, we'd have a clean sweep, because Larry met Curtis in the alleyway earlier. Now, meanwhile, Elise has already met with Jeanette. No, they've left the alley and they haven't done anything. Okay. Keep an eye on all of this here. Hello. By any chance is that Larry down there? That's Larry. Larry has now met with Elise and also with... Wait, Larry met... Larry met Curtis earlier. Right. Larry met Curtis. So if Larry just meets Grace anywhere, we can be pretty bloody confident Larry is going to be our guy. So we need to watch out for, yeah, Grace and Grace. Yeah, I'm just going to grab this. I'm just going to say, yeah, we now know Larry has met Elise and Curtis. Jeanette has only met, she's met Elise, hasn't she? Uh, yeah, I think she's just met Elise. So we just need to, if you're about to walk into there by any chance, yeah, Elise. So I'm going to use the photos to keep track of this. Jeanette has met Elise. Larry has met Elise and Curtis. That's fun. Literally, I can like, keep a, a photographic record of who's done what, which is so damn cool. That's why I love this game. Because, yeah, you actually are literally keeping like a photographic record of who's met who. Now, no one in the alleyway, no one on the roof. And, oh, but, by any chance... Uh-oh, I might have missed one. That's no one stepping up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Larry, but I'm not 100%. Evening, Agent. I hope you figured out who the informant is. Carla's cover and maybe even her life depend on it. She thinks her phone's being tapped, so we can't give her any info ourselves. That means you'll have to get her a picture of the informant directly. She'll be underneath your window tonight, so drop a picture of the informant down there when she shows up. Make sure she gets it. Good luck. Yeah, she's down there right now. Let's just let's just make double sure that's her and not Grace. All right, hang on, that's um, yeah, yeah, Carla, fine. So, I have not witnessed Larry meeting Grace. 
but I have witnessed Larry meeting Elise and Curtis. Oh, okay, fine. Here you go. You gonna get that? Yep, she's walking over to it. Good. I'm really hoping that's correct. I mean, if it is, if it's Jeanette, then I didn't see Jeanette meeting either Grace or Curtis. Larry seems like the best bet to me, but I might be wrong. So hopefully Carla's not about to die. But actually, where does Carla even flipping live? I mean, where are you even going? I mean, which, which where is she, is she heading up to the... She's still heading up. She's still heading up. She's not going to the roof. She's going up to the... Oh, you live with Arnold and what's his face on the top floor, do you? All right, fine. Whatever, I, I honestly couldn't remember. Fine. Now, she might be about to get shot. It's possible she's going to be shot, isn't it? Uh-oh, phone call. This is where I may have messed it up. All right. I believe Carla should be meeting with the informant right now. Let's hope this all goes smoothly. Okay. Informant should be... Presumably, that's now happening down here at this alleyway, right? Keep a really close eye on this. Keep the camera on it. Yep, fine. Larry, and that's, that's Elise there, right? No, that's Felicia. Who the cock is Felicia? Why is Felicia there? She shouldn't be there. Oh, dear. Right. Keep an eye on this. Prepare to take a photo if anything goes wrong. Won't, like, you know, save her life or anything, but... That'll be Elise, though. There's Elise. Oh, Felicia's moving on. Good. There's... No, that's, that's Larry. That wasn't who I meant to take a photo of. Down there. Yeah, that's Elise. Good. So hopefully everyone's... And that'll be... Yep. Everyone's showing up. There's our three. And Larry was there. Okay. That's broadly what I expected to happen. Hopefully I'm correct. Nobody shoot her. Nobody's shooting her. Yep, no one's shooting her. They're all going into the communist alley together. Uh-oh. That there looked a little bit like possibly a gun flash. Right. Just in case... Maybe we... I suspect Carla may have just been a little bit shocked there. That, or they took a flash photo of her. But I'm suspecting it, um, it wasn't actually the flash photo. Is Carla dead? To suspect Carla may be a bit dead. I haven't received any signs of life from Carla. Ugh, I don't know how to interpret this other than her being compromised. Jesus Christ, she was a great agent. Practically vital for this operation too. I'm not sure how we'll be able to carry on. We'll go over the intel she did get to us. I'll call you when we have something. Oh dear. It wasn't Larry. I must... Maybe it was Jeanette. Damn you, Wait, sorry. Damn you, Jeanette! <laughs> like, I can actually... I can actually clench my fist and shake my fist at her. Damn you, Jeanette! Damn you! Double fist. There we are. That's even better. Right. So we've messed up completely. Let's see if we can salvage this a bit. Good day, Agent. We've got some useful information for you. Apparently the commies avoid being in a diner in greater numbers than patriots. They don't want us to catch them by surprise in there. If you see any commies visiting the diner, maybe you can use it to rule out some of the other people in there as good patriots. Ah. Okay. So, the diner, which is... Ah! Okay, hang on. Hang on. Stick my head out this way. I've actually got a clear view through the skylight of the diner. So... Now we've suddenly got a flipping logic puzzle going on here, which is, in the event that there are commies in the diner, then I know that if they're outnumbered by- I swear I just saw Spider-Man on top of that train. I've got a message coming in, sorry. Right, okay. Always will be more patriots than communists in the diner. Communists are friends to get surprised by us. Okay. So there will always be more patriots than communists. Fine, you don't need to fax anything today. Just add it to your notes, you'll be called in the evening. Only fax if you to take a picture of something suspicious. If you see three people in the diner, no, one of them is a communist, the other two must be patriots. Right, okay. So, time to start figuring out who's who. So, who is, who is that over there? That's Arnold, and Darwin, and Bernard, Curtis. Wait, hang on, Curtis? Curtis. Okay. Fine. So, Curtis is one of the baddies. Slap that up there. So, therefore, everyone else in the diner can now be good, reliable patriots. So, Ike. Patriot. And... Hang on. Bernard. Patriot. 
Good, good, good. And over there, Darwin, Patriot. And finally, someone over there in green. And that's... We already had Arnold, didn't we? No! Arnold, Patriot! Congratulations, good Patriots, every one of you. Also, Carla was hidden under there. We can probably get rid of her. She's dead at this point. Uh, right, so, all of you guys, good... Honest Patriots. Ike, Bernard, Darwin, and Arnold. Perfect. So, we've learnt something valuable there. Hello in communist Ike. Ike? Standing in communist alley? Oh, but hang on. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. There will always be more. Oh, there will always be more. There still were more. Ike? Suspicious. I just moved up to suspicious because there were still more. Because there were three Patriots, Bernard, Darwin and Arnold, but Ike was in there with Curtis. So it's it wasn't that there has to be one, it's that there has to be... Hang on, double check the rule. No, one of them is a communist. The other two must be Patriots, so it will be more communist. If there are three people, you know one of them is communist, the other two must be Patriots. No, I think, I think that's fine. I think that actually makes sense, just keeping an eye on the diner. I think the diner is presumably closed. For the time being, no one else is going in. Yes. Right. Ike. Okay, I'm going to put Ike in the middle. Ike's now a maybe. Ike is now a maybe. He could theoretically be a sympathiser or a patriot. I'm not sure. This is what the chalk's for, by the way, which I quite like. So, Ike, question mark, question mark, question mark. I've got a little coloured chalk. I can just draw on the, the board as well as move around all the photos. It's, it's very tactile. That's what I like about it. It's very tactile. So, we've got three patriots, I think. Three informants and Ike as a question mark. Not sure about him. Actually, you're not informants. You're, you are sympathisers. You're absolutely sympathisers and not informants. We thought, we thought Larry was the, the informant, but presumably he's actually now not the informant because if he was, then Carla would still be alive. Okay, it's midnight. The phone's going. Hopefully I can make up for my failure. Good evening, Agent. I hope you've managed to figure a few things out. Maybe peg some people as patriots. Unfortunately, it's been pretty quiet over here. We haven't found any new... Hold on. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have to call you back in a bit. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Something's going on. Let's speed up time till he calls me back. Ah, oh, that was bloody fast. Alright. Sorry about that. I've got good news. We've just received a tip from someone in the building. She said that the Reds were walking around with Norma's briefcase. Apparently the tipster overheard them saying something about getting it delivered to an informant tomorrow evening. We know this group has two informants, so it could be the same one from before, or the other one. Either way, this is a good opportunity for you to figure out their identity. I'll gather up everything we've got on this informant and fax it over in the morning. Right. Two informants. We know one of them's not Larry. So hang on, if I could just get a photo of Larry, I could slap it officially on the not Larry side. Now, I am suspicious of Jeanette because Jeanette was... Hang on, I think I, I got rid of the photos already. That's annoying. Uh, right, never mind. Get rid of the Ike photo. We've already got Ike up over there. If I could just get a photo down of... Oh, blimey. Have you actually... Oh, no, you haven't closed the thing. That's absolutely fine. Uh, right. Are you... Is that Jeanette? Yeah, okay, fine. Jeanette is now going up as an informant, question mark. Jeanette is now a likely candidate for the informant. So, informant number two. The briefcase is going to be delivered to an informant. Keep an eye out for it. Fax a picture of it when you find... Okay, I need to find the briefcase. It's going to be somewhere around here. Uh, both informants live with a patriot. Ah! Okay, informants living with a patriot. Spy and informants now ensuring they're in the alley before a sympathiser. If anyone seen alone in the alley is either an informant or a- Oh, blimey, this is getting complicated. So anyone in the alley is either an informant or the spy- Wait, hang on. Larry was. Larry what? Larry may not be an informant. Larry may be the actual spy. Because he definitely went into the alley before- Look, shut up! Hello again, Agent. I've got some new information for you. It looks like the commies are planning something big. Everyone is getting restless. It seems sympathizers won't be heading into the alley alone anymore. So if you see a loner in the alley, you know they're either an informant or the spy. We also faxed over some information we found in Carlos' notes, which might be useful. As it is faxed to you, read it back at your own pace. The important thing is still to keep an eye on a briefcase. 
located by the end of the day and will work on getting a copy of the contents. Additionally, since they plan to deliver it to the informant, we'll know where the informant lives. Good luck. Now, hang on, go back to one of those bits of information. One of them was uh, important there. Both informants live with a patriot. Okay, hang on. Right, let's just put these on one side of here. So these are my guys up here. Let's just pull this down. Hang on, let's just stick things on there. Oh, I can't stick things on the plan, unfortunately. Right, okay. Uh, but Bernard, Darwin, and Arnold. Um, I'm pretty sure they all live in the... No, go down there, that's, that's fine. I'm pretty sure they all live in... Um, I think that's two, three, and four. I'm pretty sure that's two, three, and four. So that means other people that live in two, three, and four are now suspicious, except, ah, there might be patrons I don't know about yet. So like the other woman in, oh, hang on. Hang on, something's going on. Also, I need to be keeping a bloody eye out for the, the briefcase. Right, you, who are you, Elise? You showed up in the alley first, and that's Larry. I'd say Larry's a really good candidate for my spy right now, but make sure we, we question mark that. There we go, question mark that. Now, I just need to be watching for the briefcase. Somewhere, there's a briefcase, and I need to watch the diner as well. Now, ah, people in the diner. How many people are currently in the diner? Who is in the diner? That is... Uh, you know commodity. Darwin, I believe you're a... Uh, well, I'm pretty sure you're a patriot. And Jeanette... Jeanette could be... Hmm. Jeanette. Okay. If... Wait, hang on. Who else is going into the... Jeanette. And Curtis. Curtis just went in there. Curtis is definitely an informant. Given he's there and he's not leaving, that, I believe, puts Jeanette... In fact... Okay, we don't need a photo of Jeanette. That brings Jeanette actually down to Patriot. If Jeanette's a Patriot, then the woman living with Jeanette, who I believe is Haley, could be a candidate for informant. But it's more likely to be... Hang on, who are you in red, by the way? Bernard. That's Bernard. Okay, we know about Bernard. That's fine. The other woman who's living down there, Felicia. Felicia is not a known Patriot. She's just an unknown. So that's fine. Over there, that's Curtis. Curtis living with... Aha! Curtis living in number three with, I believe, Arnold? Arnold or, or Darwin, possibly. Right, so don't worry about that. Uh-oh. They said the handoff was going to happen by... Oh, it is the evening. Oh, I completely missed the... Wait, hang on. Hang on. I think I just found it. I think I just found it. it, it it's up there. It's up there. I've just got the briefcase. I found it. I've got the briefcase. The briefcase is fine. All right. Thanks for the briefcase. Go. Here we go. Yes. Briefcase found. Briefcase found. Who is with the briefcase? Who is that next to the briefcase? That's Ike. Ike with the briefcase. Okay. Ike. Congratulations, Ike. I thought you might be a bit suspicious. Ike has just been promoted to informant with Larry as the spy. In my... I'm much... Wait, what am I going to say saying Haley's that? I mean, okay. People who live with... Okay. Ike lives with... Wait, hang on. Ike. Ike lives with... I need... Stop trying to call me. I need the book. Oh, the book's buried under there somewhere. Right, whoever Ike lives with is guaranteed to be a patriot. Um, probably. Yeah, Ike must be now the informant or the spy. That's Larry's there. No, Larry can't be the informant because I accused him of that and that got Carla killed. Nice job, Agent. This confirms the briefcase to be in apartment three, which means one of the inhabitants of that apartment must be an informant. Before we attempt to get information from the briefcase, Make sure you figure out which one of the two inhabitants it is, and fax us a picture of them. We have no way of confirming this ourselves, so take a look at your notes, take a moment to think it through, and make sure it's right. Good luck. Okay, one of the inhabitants of three. Uh, right, hang on. Back over to my book here. I need to... Ah, I've dropped the book. Okay, apartment three, Darwin and Ike. Okay, now I'm pretty confident that Darwin is in fact a patriot, and that would sync up with Ike being an informant because the informants live with patriots. So, as a result, let's get ourselves a new picture of Ike so I can leave a picture up there. Uh, so Ike, standing conveniently right next to the bloody thing, I'm at least moderately confident you are an informant. Please be right, please be right, please be right. All right, 
will note us down as one of the informants. Now, we're preparing an operation to figure out what's inside the briefcase. We should be ready to do that tonight. I'll let you know when it's about to happen. Right, next up then, what's in that briefcase? The operation is going to start. I'll let you know when we receive the information from the briefcase. Well, we're just waiting for that to happen. So, who lives with all these different people here? So, apartment four. Arnold and Norma. Who's Norma? Uh, Norma wearing working clothes. Norma hasn't really come up on my radar yet, so that's fine. I believe the other's in apartment two. So, apartment two is Bernard and Curtis. Okay. Curtis, we know, is a sympathiser. Unless he's both. I don't believe he's the informant, though. So, okay. Known patriots. Wait, wait, yeah, Jeanette is now a known patriot. That means potentially Haley is a candidate for informant. Yeah, because Jeanette is now the only patriot I believe I know of from her position in the... Her position in the diner that's... Ooh... Oh dear. Right, this is this is interesting. And I still think Larry's the spy. Because he's clearly involved somehow, but he's not an informant because I got Carla killed for accusing him of that. And he's not well he could be a he could just be a sympathizer. But I think there's only the three sympathizers and everyone else is a patriot. Right. Also Where's the I think I've lost the suitcase! It's me. Mission accomplished. But the results are terrifying. The evidence in that briefcase has some new intel on them but the majority of the files are about us. They know everything that happened before you showed up. Your predecessor said she had a failsafe, but I never expected... Oh well, never mind. Anyway, we need to get on top of this. With the amount of dirt they have on us, they could shut us down at any time. I need to make some calls. Just hang tight, and I'll get back to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it would appear the briefcase is even more dangerous than we thought, and there might be terrible, terrible secrets about me inside it, but I think you get the point. This here is the Red Stair, and I'm about to thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it to you. And the reason for that is it's free. If you've got a Vive, you can go and play this for free right now. The people who made this, they've just made it free. And I just actually, you know, I emailed them before I made this video and checked, just like, you know, is it free just like as a promotion? Or is it? They said, no, no, it's free forever. So apparently this game is just going to be free forever. And isn't that just flipping marvelous? So if you've got a Vive, there's basically no reason not to play this. And it's actually quite good fun. Just like the camera system. It just does VR right. It does VR right. You basically just you go around and you're in a limited space and you just interact with the area around you in interesting, different ways. It's an interesting little experiment. It's not perfect. There's definitely things that could be done better, but it's a fun experiment and it's for free and what more can you really ask for? So, link in the description below. As I say, totally 100% free and hopefully indeed we will get to see some more really interesting VR experiments like this again in future. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd and this over here has been the red star thank you very much and goodbye yeah no okay that would have been good if i'd actually hit the ball and swing yes 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 that is the swing that is the swing come on go few you oh yes oh 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 oh